Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to my OctoApp customization tutorial. Customization is a key principle in OctoApp, and I think the app is at its best when it's truly yours and fits your workflow perfectly. There's three ways how you can customize OctoApp. You can adjust the layouts of the controls, you can pin menu items for quick access, and you can adjust the appearance of OctoApp. Let's start with controls. It's important to understand that there are two screens in OctoApp, which may look similar on first glance, but they're completely independent when it comes to customization. One is the prepare workspace, which is active when your printer is idle. And the other is the print workspace, which is active when your printer is printing. They share some controls, but you can customize them separately. To customize the controls, open the main menu, go to settings and choose customize controls. An editor will show up, which allows you to change the order of the controls, as well as hide controls you just don't want to see. Again, it's important to understand that you're editing the screen that is currently active, and your edits will not carry over to the other screen. Let's move on to the menu structure. The menu structure in Octave is quite large, and the idea is that you pin whatever you need to a place where it makes sense for you. For example, if you want to take a quick look at the print, you can pin the toggle light menu item to the print workspace, so you can turn on and off the light without ever touching the menu. There are four different places where you can pin menu items to. The first is the main menu. You can also pin menu items to the print and to the prepare workspaces. Again, items pinned to one will not show up automatically at the other. They are completely independent. The fourth place you can pin menu items to is, as of recording right now, still in beta. You can pin menu items to a widget, which will show up on your Android's home screen, so you can use menu items without ever opening OctoApp. This is very handy, for example, if you want to, again, control your lights or quickly access a certain feature in OctoApp. Last but not least, you can also customize OctoApp's appearance. Let's start with the obvious one, dark mode. OctoApp supports a light and a dark mode. On Android 9 and below, the dark mode can be controlled from a toggle in the settings menu. On Android 10 and above, the dark mode will be synced to your Android's dark mode. Besides the dark mode, you can also customize OctoApp's color scheme. To do so, open OctoPrint's appearance settings in the web interface and select one of the available color schemes. The color schemes selected will carry over to OctoApp. You can also set a title for your OctoPrint, which will also show up in OctoApp. This is extremely handy if you want to distinguish easily between multiple OctoPrints that are connected to your OctoApp. And this is how you can customize OctoApp to make it truly yours. If you found a really cool way to customize your OctoApp, inspire others in the comments down below. That's it for today. Make sure to subscribe for upcoming tutorials and other videos. As always, enjoy the app and happy printing!